Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about subtracting fractions. So in this word problem, you will find that we will have to regroup. So that's what we will focus on today. It says my brother is 14 and a third years old. My sister is four and five, six years younger than my brother. How old is my sister? Okay, so we are going to highlight years younger. So if the sister is four and five, six years younger, we don't know exactly how old she is just yet. So let's do the work. I know that the brother is 14 and one third years old and the sister is four and five, six years younger. It didn't say that she was four and five, six years old. It says that she was four and five, six years younger. So I know that I need to subtract to determine her actual age. Now right now, the fractions are not a part of the same whole because the denominators are not the same. So as we did in the other video, we can do one third. We can use skip counting to find an equivalent fraction. We have five six. And of course we have three six nine and then six twelve eighteen. Okay, so if we pay attention to our denominators, we know that we actually did not have to go any further here because up here we already have our denominator, common denominator, and that is six. So the numerator, we skip counting by one because your numerator started at one, two, three. And I'm going to put a box around this fraction because I have now found an equivalent fraction for one third, which is two six, which now gives me a common denominator. So I'm just going to, oh, bring my 14 over. Can't forget about my whole number. And then four and five, six. Okay, so now we are able to subtract. So five, six and two, six are the two fractions that we are working with. So five, six minus two, six cannot happen. We can't take five away from two. So what we'll have to do is go next door, we'll change the color, and we are going to borrow, okay? So we borrowed a whole, and this now becomes 13, okay? So if we borrow one whole and we're working with the fraction, we look at our denominator. That will tell us what our whole is, okay? So our whole is six, six. So I borrowed six, six and added to two, six. Six, six plus two, six is eight, six. So now I will be able to move forward with my subtraction. Eight minus five is three. My denominator stays the same, which is six. And then I have to subtract 13 minus four, okay? Now I know that eight plus four is 12, so nine plus four must be 13. So nine and three cents, six, or nine and one half, okay? So again, we determine what our whole is by looking at our denominator, okay? Our denominator is six, so our whole number is six, six. So we borrowed six, six and added it to two, six. All right, guys.